Hey guys, welcome to vfxtutor.com. In this basic course, we're going to see the basic workflow of PF Truck 2017. We will see how to set up a project properly and we're also going to see how to work with the estimate focal node. The estimate focal node will help us realize what was the focal length that was used in the footage. So let's jump into PF Track. So let's click on the create button and let's give this project a name. We'll call it street and I'm going to click on confirm. Now you'll notice the big changes that PF Track 2017 has to offer. First of all, everything now is being categorized. I'm going to create a new bin and I'm going to call this street same name as the project and into the street I'm gonna bring in the footage that I have let's highlight our street scene bin and take this footage and drop it into the bin itself we have 48 frames this is a short clip and now we can take it and drop it into the page now since this was shot with the Nikon D7100 I already have under my presets the preset needed for the Nikon in case you need to create your own preset you can click on the custom and here you put the film back, which is also the size of your CMOS chip, and depends on your camera, you can find that information online. But in my case, I have the Nikon D7100, so I'm just going to switch it to a pre-existing preset that I've stored here before. The frame rate itself is going to be 2997, so now we can go in and take a look at the footage. The first thing we need to do is cache the footage. So in order to cache this footage into the memory of the computer, and it shouldn't take much because there's only 48 frames into this sequence, click on the C button as you can see right here. And this will cache the footage into the memory of the computer. As you can see from the footage itself, the camera movement is extremely simple. There's nothing a lot going on in this, and it's just the camera moving from left to right and being handheld. Because it's being handheld, there are gonna be some frames where the features get a bit blurred. So we're gonna need to keep that in mind. So the next thing we need to do before we even start tracking is to make sure that we know what is the proper focal length. Since the Nikon D7100 didn't give me the exact metadata for the properties of the footage, I don't have the proper XML file or iData file that I can upload into here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the note panel button and under the utilities shelf, I can go into the estimate focal. So I'm going to look for a specific area in which I can put to these display lines for the X and this house here looks pretty good. I'm going to take this X line and I'm going to move it to a specific point. I can also click shift on the keyboard and make sure that I zoom in and put it in the right area. So once again, click on the mouse, hold shift, and now I can move this line on the pixel level. And the next X line is going to follow the same perspective. And now putting another point on this X line and moving it around to match the line that you see here, which is the garage door meeting the concrete driveway. Great, let's turn off the X, let's turn on the Y, and now we can use this Y display line and put it right on the corner of this house. So our focal length has been calculated at 19.5, almost 19.6 millimeters. So we saw how the estimate focal node helped us realize what was the focal length that was not recorded on set. We also saw how important it is to set up PF track properly. In the next video, we will see how to work with the 2D trackers.